today we will be making a really simple and easy patriotic wreath with items from the dollar store. What you will need a wreath ring and this is 14 inches. I have red, white, and blue deco mesh. I have some Chanel stems. You could definitely use whatever color you'd like. I know sometimes they have like glitter sparkly ones. Also scissors and a rotary cutter. Now the amount of deco mesh is going to depend on how much is on your roll. Now I just recently noticed so the Dollar Tree Deco Mesh used to come in five yards, but they've decreased it to four yards. So be mindful of that. I don't know if it's all Dollar Trees or just the ones around me, but they have decreased the amount of Deco Mesh in each roll. All right, let's get started. All right, so next we're going to take the red, white, and blue Deco Mesh, and we're going to cut them into eight inch long pieces. All right. And we're just going to cut eight inch long pieces. Yeah. So, looks like I'm going to be using two rolls of red, two rolls of white, and two rolls of blue with the uh, deco mesh that's four yards in length. If you do have the five yard deco mesh, you will not need two complete rolls. Cutting them into eight inch long pieces, I will have 36 pieces. So, once you do have the deco mesh cut, we are going to make our bundles before we start placing them on the ring and I like to mix it up a little bit so you have the red white and blue first I'm going to roll the red just making it a tighter roll roll the white at a diagonal just like that and then I'm going to roll the blue just in a normal little curl just like that and scrunch it together take your Chanel stem and twist it in place just like this and when I make these bundles I'm gonna alternate which um, color I make the center and which color has the point so since white has a point on this one the next one I'm going to make um I guess the red. I'm gonna have the red with the point. So I'll just roll the white. I'm going to roll the red at a diagonal. And that way I don't have all of the same color sticking out. I kind of have a little bit of everything all over the place. And it'll look very fun. And then roll the blue. Just like that, scrunch it together, take a Chanel stem, and twist it. Just like that. So you see that one is different from this one. And one more. And this time it is time to make the blue our point. So, put the red on the bottom, roll, 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 blue is the center, and we're rolling it at a diagonal, and then the white, roll, 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 just like that, again take your Chanel stem, and twist it and this is just really simple and easy to do again you could add more colors if you'd like but I just wanted to stick with the red white and blue there is some deco mesh that is striped that you could add if you wanted to but as you can see I have the red the white and the blue and alternating the colors that I make pointy just helps it to just flow together better in my opinion but I mean you can do whatever you choose so I'm just gonna make more like this and then I will come back and we will place them all on the ring. Alright, so I have all the deco mesh in bundles. I have a total of 36 bundles. One strip of red, white, and blue in each bundle. And again, I alternated which color I made pointy. But you could definitely make them all pointy. You can make them all curly. Whatever you prefer. It's completely up to you. Now it's time to get these bundles on the wreath ring. So, I have my ring. And I'm going to take the first bundle. Place it on the inner two rings. So see just the inner two rings. 
and then I'm going to twist it just like that there we go and then I'm gonna place the next one and do the exact same thing so inner two rings place it down and twist it and then adjust it and like I said I try to alternate which color I have pointy right beside each other just because I think it's just gonna look so cute and another and this is pretty much all that you do all the way around the ring very simple quick and easy and you see the more you get the more fun it's gonna look Right, so this is what one section is looking like and what I mean by section as you can see this wreath is separated into six different sections so one section like this with six bundles looks like this and it's so cute and poofy already so I'm gonna get the other sections complete and I will show you the finished product oh this is what the back is looking like so I just leave them like this until I completely finished the entire ring and then I will take care of them by lying them all down together and twisting them all together so that they're tucked away and out of your way. So, two sections complete. So cute and patriotic. So when it's finally all done, I'm just going around and adjusting it, fluffing it up, making sure none of the Chanel stems are showing. It looks so cute and poofy and patriotic and just so adorable. Again, I only went with red, white, and blue and I alternated the spiked deco mesh, but you can definitely keep them all curled or spike them all. Just have fun with it and make it your own. You could definitely add a center as well, but for this specific one, I think it just looks so adorable by itself. So I'm going to leave it like this. Last thing we have to do is get rid of all of these crazy wild Chanel stems. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist, twist it down and just gather more Chanel stems as I go around and twist them all down in no specific way. I just want them kind of out of the way and not poking or scratching anything. So just like that and all the way till I come to my starting point. And there now it looks much neater and it's all tucked away and it's not going to scratch anyone. And this is what it looks like. So cute and adorable. Simple and easy to do. And all items were purchased at Dollar Tree. We're all done.